So let's take this PR and merge it and hope for the best that nothing crashes. Okay, to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous right now. And the reason for that is because in this video we will try to upgrade my own website's Next.js version from Next.js 10 to all the way to Next.js 12. And I just hope we won't end up like crashing the production or something like that, because I'm sure there is some major changes between those versions. And I'm sure there will be some breaking changes that we need to figure out and fix for the code before we deploy the application. And I hope that will be helpful for you to, to see uh, how to fix those and what kind of breaking changes there are. And the reason why I'm using Next.js 10 in my website is simply because I created the website like over a year ago and that was the latest version at that time. And since then I just haven't had a time to upgrade it or to be more honest, I just have been too lazy to upgrade it. So today we will do that and upgrade to version 12, which is the current latest version of Next.js. So let's hope everything goes well and I'm gonna hop to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so right here I have my website project open in VS Code. And if we check the package.json file, we can see that we are using Next.js version 10 over here. So what we want to do is upgrade it to use Next.js 12, which is the current latest version. So to get started, let's open up Google and type in how to upgrade Next.js because I need to find it out. So how to update Next.js. And let's open up the upgrade guide. And right here we can see upgrading from 11 to 12. I think we can use that or those uh, instructions, but let's see if they have some other information down here. Okay, so here we have upgrading from 10 to 11. And it looks like we need to upgrade to the latest React version and then the next JS version and I think it was the same instructions over here. Yeah, so upgrade the latest React version and then to the latest Next.js version. And for the version 12, the minimum node version has been bound to 12.22. So let's just make sure that we have high enough node version. So v, and we have this 16.13 and that should be enough. So let's proceed by upgrading the React and then the next JS. So uh, just in short, my plan here is to just upgrade it, then try to run it and see what errors come up and then see how to fix them. So let's update the React and I'm using Yarn. So I will copy this one and switch to the VS Code. I have my terminal open over here and actually before for doing this, let's make a new branch and upgrade the versions in that branch. So I'm just gonna do that like this and let's see, we are on that branch. Yeah, great. So now I'm gonna paste in that code for upgrading to the latest React version and hit Ender. All right, once that's run, let's switch back to the documentation and upgrade to the uh, Next.js 12. So again, I'm gonna take this yarn at Next 12, switch to the terminal and paste it in and hit enter. Okay, now that that's run, let's try to run the application and see what we get. So I'm gonna use yarn dev to start the dev server. And once it's running, I'm gonna open up my browser with the localhost 3000. All right, looks like the website is looking good. Let's open up the blog page. Try to open one post. And right here, everything seems to be working. The courses page is working. The contact page is the newsletter that's working. Okay, looks like everything is working. 
I would assume there is some breaking changes that we need we would need to fix uh, but it looks like for now that everything is working correctly so this was easier than I thought let's switch back to the uh, terminal let's see just that we don't get any errors no and uh, nothing like that and if I switch to the documentation let's actually read some of these changes that they list over here this is something I thought might affect us uh, by breaking down the application is the Next.js image component because with the version 12 they render the image inside of a span instead of div so if we were using some CSS targeting for example targeting the div wrapping the image tag like this it might not match anymore and that way break it down but as we saw on the front page for example this is this image here is using the image component and it's working correctly uh, and that's actually because I think we are not using any custom CSS for it. Let's see. There is the UT images. So right here we have the, this one right here is this image. So we are not using any custom CSS, just passing in some padding and border radius. But that's it. So that's working correctly. These images are working correctly. And on the blog pages, I think here was one image. Let's open it up. Yeah. So right here, the images work well too. So that doesn't affect us, which is good. So it looks like our application is running correctly just by updating React and Next.js. So running this one and this one. And that's it. Of course, if I had some uh, custom configurations or some other stuff, for example, related to that image component that I was using some custom CSS or that kind of stuff, then I might have to do some uh, more work to fix those issues. But as it looks like, everything's working correctly. So I think uh, right now, let's just deploy this to production and hope for the best that uh, everything works there too. So to deploy this, to the production, I'm gonna actually do it through through a PR. So I'm first gonna open up my tower, my Git client, and then uh, commit all these changes that we made, and then push it to the GitHub, open up a PR, and then merge it to the main branch. So let's do that. So uh, let's commit these first, this and commit, and then I'm gonna push this to the github and open up the repo right here and we actually get the uh, suggestion to open up a PR I'm gonna compare and create a PR like this let's create the pull request and let's actually wait that this preview environment is uh, spun up so we can test it out in there and then when we merge this it will uh, upgrade the actual production environment and meanwhile, while this is spinning up, I could actually open up my virtual dashboard. So right here is my virtual dashboard for the uh, website. And right here we can see that the preview environment is building. Let's open that up and see how it goes. Okay, so now it's ready. So it has been built. So we can also in the PR see the preview environment. So I'm gonna click it open from there. And let's see, I'm gonna open up DevTools also just in case we get some uh, errors or warnings. So looks like the front page is working nicely. The blog page, we are getting all the blog posts open. Let's try one more. Yeah, looks good. Uh, the newsletter page, courses page, yeah, everything is looking good. The contact also. So it looks like everything is working fine. So I think we can merge this to the main branch and uh, upgrade the production that way. Because I have set it up so that when uh, anything is merged to the main branch of my uh, website repo, that will be automatically deployed uh, by Vercel to production. So let's 
fake this PR and merge it and hope for the best that nothing crashes. All right, I'm gonna delete that branch. And now if we go back to my virtual dashboard right here, we can see that there is a build uh, spinning up. So if we open this up, we can see that it's from the merge pull request 13, with, which was this one we just merged. And now let's just wait it out and come back when it has finished. Okay, the build finished and it says it's ready. Uh, so let's open it up. So I'm gonna go to the website and yeah, everything's working. I'll open up the dev tools just in case and check out a couple of these pages. Looks good. Yeah, everything looks good. So looks like the page is working correctly. Now we have updated our next test version from 10 to 12. And to be honest, I'm really surprised that uh, no problems occurred and everything went that smoothly. That's because that's never the case when you are up upgrading uh, between major versions of a framework. But I think that also just tells us about Next.js that they're doing a great job with the framework because it's that easy to upgrade between uh, major versions and everything works great. Uh, there was not, no problems and yeah, again, I'm just surprised that everything went so well. And the deploy to the production went well also no problems there. So yeah, I'm happy if I would have known that it was that easy to upgrade to the Next.js version, I would have done it uh, sooner. And I'm sure when Next.js 13 comes out, I will be upgrading my website right away because if it's such a breeze to upgrade, then why not do it right away? But I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments and if you did like this, please hit the like button below. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button also. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to learn more about Next.js, I have a full playlist of Next.js videos right here that you should check out next because there is a bunch of stuff from building a blog, from deploying to production, uh, reducing the uh, build time of your application and much more. So check it out over there and I'll see you over there.